Today we're going to make a candied orange IPA and here's how it's done. Alright, it's Kyle Brown with Climber Supplies. This is my buddy Tommy. Tommy has a background in the culinary arts. So disclaimer, Tommy's never brewed beer before, but does have a probably one of the strongest backgrounds in culinary arts you can have. So what we're gonna brew today is a, it's another summer beer. So we're gonna use some citra hops, we're gonna use some lemon drop hops, and we're actually going to, what are we gonna do? So we added six pounds of malted two-row, a pound of oats, a pound of wheat, and a pound of corn. This is not a huge beer. We're shooting for a beer that's a bit sweeter and has a bit more body. Just because this is going to be a lower alcohol beer, it's going to be a more of a sessionable beer. We're mashing at 160 degrees, which is kind of on the higher end of the mash spectrum. Yeah, buddy, we're making some beer. <laughs> While we're mashing, we'll process the citrus. Uh, so when you're feeling fruit to, to dry, you want to get as little pith as possible. You can do this a number of ways. I use this uh, tea peeler. Some of them are marked that have different sizes. One, two, you can find it on the inside here. Um, you want uh, a low number because that's going to take less of the pith of the orange with it and um, thus give you less bitterness. So we're gonna bring this to a boil. The water needs to be cold when you start, and then turn it off, strain it, and then start again fresh three times. So you don't wanna let this boil. You don't wanna let it just sit there. The reason you just wanna bring it to a boil is um, take out some of the bitterness, but if you continue to process the fruit at a boil, it's going to bring out more bitterness. Okay. Dude, you're a one-hander. <laughs> you're a one-hander. So now we're going to do the lemon. You want to do them separate so the uh, flavors don't get all mixed up. Sweet lid, bro. Yeah, and then your pith is going to be nice and soft, really pliable. And we're actually going to candy these here in just a little bit. We're going to bring this kettle up to a boil, and while we're doing that, we're going to work on these candied oranges. So uh, you want to use equal parts when you're making your simple syrup. Um, we're going to use this sugar in the raw. Because this is dark, it's going to kind of give you a little more caramely notes. So you want to weigh it out 50-50. Um, We'll candy the orange peel using the simple syrup. Yeah, so yeah. the peels will just sit in the syrup for about 45 minutes. Um, after that, we will basically dehydrate them. So we'll bring this up to a boil to make sure everything's dissolved, and then we'll cut it down to kind of a soft simmer, and then we'll add our zest. So now that we have dissolved all of our sugar, create our simple syrup, we're going to add our peels. So now that uh, we've added our zest, we're going to simmer this for about 45 minutes. You kind of want a medium simmer. So the kettle's up to a boil, and uh, now we're going to add a quarter ounce of citra hops. So our citrus is done being candy. Uh, if you want to come look at it here. Yeah. Most of the citrus has kind of gone translucent. All the moisture's been cooked out of it and this is exactly what we want. So now we're just gonna strain out all the simple syrup here. And this is kind of what your end product should look like here. Translucent, they're really sticky. Now we're gonna dehydrate these. Um, I was saying earlier, you can use an oven. You can just like leave your pilot on and put them in overnight, that will work. It certainly helps if you have uh, a nice dehydrator though. You wanna keep your peels separated as you can, just so they uh, have a chance to evenly kind of all dehydrate. All 
All right, so we're done with the boil. We're gonna cool this thing down to 165 and add our um, hop stand hops. So now that the wort is uh, cooled down, um, we're gonna add three ounces of citra hops and we're gonna add one ounce of these lemon drop hops. So uh, now that we've added our hops, uh, we're going to take our um, orange syrup and uh, add it to the wort. We've also heated up a little bit of hot water on the side just so that we can get the last of it. Go ahead and stir that around. Uh, so we were only at about five and a quarter gallons. That's why we added our water. It looks like we're almost at about five and a half gallons now with that additional water. Now we're going to add some California ale yeast here. Package is telling me we need to cool it down to 65 before we add it, so we're going to do that. I'm going to dump the sanitizer out of the carboy, and then we're going to transfer our wort to the carboy. So it looks like we have about, I don't know, just over five gallons. All right, cool. in three, four, five days to dry hop this and add our candied citrus. 1046. 1046. All right, so we finished this beer up like a week ago. We are ready to dry hop it. We're also gonna add some candied oranges, which are done. Really delicious. I'm gonna try some of those. They're gonna be nice and sweet. Oh yeah. Totally dried out. Yeah, um, that's good. By pulling out all the moisture, hopefully that's gonna add a lot of flavor into our um, into our beer. I'm probably gonna just like hit my hands with some star sand. Pull this guy out. Do you wanna grab the hops maybe? Yeah, sure. Out of the fridge. It smells good, it looks pretty gross. <laughs> I guess the plan with the oranges is to pop them in this mason jar here. Um, I'm just gonna add like a little bit of vodka. We'll try that there. All right, so the idea is this. Um, hops are antimicrobial, so probably not anything that's gonna be growing on those that's gonna impact the beer. This candied orange has been just chilling out in the office for like a week. I'm not so sure about it. So we're gonna soak it in some vodka. Not much, I mean, we're adding like a tiny, tiny bit of alcohol. But hopefully if there's anything that's growing on here, it will be killed by this vodka. <laughs> All right, so we got, we got one ounce here. We were gonna do two ounces of citra. We only have one ounce of citra, apparently. We're gonna add another ounce of uh, lemon drop. All right, all right. So now we're gonna add our oranges to our bag. We're gonna do this overneath our, uh, our beer, just in case the vodka has pulled any flavor out of the oranges. Overneath? That's it. That's overneath, did that's I say that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Perfect. All right, the orange IPA is done for many. Uh, we've kegged it up, carved it up, and it's time to taste it. Cheers. Definitely get that lemon aroma. Yeah, totally. Um, probably from the lemon drops and the lemon that we added. You also get nice um, orange orange notes in there yeah. as well. Um, it's really well balanced too, I think, amongst the two flavors, orange mm -hmm. and lemon. 
highly crushable summer beer. Highly crushable. Highly crushable, yeah. Crush. So I'm gonna give this one a definite 10 of 10, um, definite 100% you should brew this beer if you're into uh, light citrusy IPAs. Brew this beer. Yeah, brew this beer. Thanks for watching. See ya.